Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. The topic for today's class is CSS selectors. So they are used to style the content. They are used to select the content which you want to style. They are part of CSS rule. So what we will do here is I'll show you the different types of selectors. It is basically about how you will style the data and what data you will style. It is basically about that. The first selector which you will see is CSS element selector. In this you will learn how to style a specific element which we have done in the past class also. I will repeat that. Uh, first we will look at all the theory part and then we will start the practical part. So here what is happening? Uh, we have written the P tag. We have written the sentence in our P. And then we have id and then we have written the paragraph completely so everything is written in the p tag that everything is in the paragraph tag so now if i want to style i'll just use p element so if you are using the tag name that is your element selector so if you write h1 you want to style h1 you will write h1 you write any heading number you will just style that here instead of p so you are styling one particular html element Next is CSS ID selector. So what is the meaning of ID is first I'll go back to the next code, the HTML code. In the body, if you see my paragraph has an ID given. Both I have used two paragraphs, P here, P here. Hello, this paragraph will not be affected. So there are two lines which have paragraph, but I want to style only hello. So what I'll do is we will give, we will give it ID. And then we will style that particular ID. So every time you want to style an ID, you sh should use this character before that. Hash character is mandatory. So hash character indicates that you are styling your ID. The third type is class selector. Now uh, it start the class selector is uh, starting with the full stop. You can see here. There is a full stop dot center and also it should not never start with a number. First, I will again go to the HTML code. What we do here is now we have lot of HTML uh, headings and paragraphs. But we want to style only one heading and one paragraph. Which particular heading and paragraph you want to style it, you will give it a class name. You will assign it a class name and then you will style it using this dot full stop symbol. It should always start this symbol indicates you are styling using class selector. You have a lot of paragraphs and headings but you want to style a specific one. That is when your CSS class selector comes in use. We will see all this practically once we understand the theory of it. So what now we have a class selector for a specific element. That was for complete heading, complete paragraph. Okay, now let's see. I have written H1 class center for H1 also for paragraph also. So for both the class name is same. But then I still want to style only one of them. So we will write the element name P. That is the paragraph. I want to style just paragraph. And then we will write dot center. So using this method you are styling just one element. Just one sentence. The ID is given for both. The class name is given for both. But you want to style just one. So you write that element name and your class name. Universal selector. It is going to select all the elements on the page. So this um, symbol is for the universal selector. If you use this in your style tag and you put anything in the styling part, it is going to style the complete page for you. Whatever elements you have, it's going to style the complete website. I'll just take you to the first page again. We learned about element, CSS element selector, ID selector, class, universal and group now we will try to implement this with the help of code let's start with the first is element selector so i'll just write h1 let me write h2 it's css element selector so i've written h2 now, I will write paragraph. The I 
it's a like so html element by name so i've closed the paragraph now in my heading i'll put the style tag okay so in this i'm going to start style the paragraph i'll add one more paragraph saying thank you okay now you'll see p paragraph p will be styled h1 h2 will not be styled so what i'll do is i'll give text alignment consider i want the text to be in the center so i'll give text align as center and then we will give it as a color let me give red for now i'll just save this and i'll go to the output screen you can see the paragraph is in the red color it is aligned in the center nothing is done with the heading one it is still the same now what we will do is i'll just uh, rename to this as element selector okay because we have to do other selectors also i haven't written it as dot html because file type was already html so let me take the basic code html we will write i'll put the head i'm not adding anything in my head for now what i'm just going to do is here i'm going to keep style tag and we will style put the body here okay so this is the skeleton code which we have created now what we are going to do is we are going to learn about id selector so we give unique id we use hash for that let's first save this as id selector dot html first we will write inside the body let's come inside the body let's give heading id selector now we will give it a id p id equal to i'll give the name id as you can customize the id to whatever you want i'll write welcome to css class i'll write thank you so you can see i have used paragraph tag two times but id is given to only one sentence so now what we will do is we will style this id hash character see para1 i'll open the curly bracket so it is going to align only that particular part i can use the same styling let me run it for you id selector i'll just open this on the browser you can see two paragraph tags were written but only one is styled because we gave it id now we will do css class selector i'll copy the complete code i'll put in the new tab i'll just delete this i'll let the skeleton code be there okay class selector so we are learning about class selector what happens with the class selector we use full stop dot symbol to style it first we will put everything in the body i am going to use let h2 also be as a class class equal to center now in paragraph i'll write something about this class selector 
द क्लास I will close the p tag. Now in this also, I'll put class. Center. Now let's look how the styling will be done. Now you, there are two different tags, H2 and P. You want to style both. So I'll write dot center. And I'll give the same styling. And we will save this as class selector. I'm not doing dot HTML because you because you can see here it is already there. Let's run the class selector. You can see both the tags. Both the sentences which we have written are styled. Now what we are going to do, we are going to use CSS selector for a specific element. I will just change it here and show you. Consider I have written this P dot center. I will save this. And I'll refresh it. You can see only paragraph is styled because I gave P dot center. It is styling only that particular element. Now we will do I'll just delete this much. Now we are going to do universal selector. Let me change this. What is the universal selector? Something which is used to style everything on the page. All HTML elements. So we have two tags H2 and P. Let's see if that is working. Universal selector. Let's run the universal selector. Wait, the styling is not done because I forgot writing here the symbol for universal selector. Let me run. Okay. We can see the output is applied to both the elements. So now the last selector for the day is group selector. We can use the same code for the group selector. I'll just change the text. Now here instead of this what you will write h2 comma p because you have two HTML elements right. So you will write those names to style it. Let's, the, let's run it and see. It is your group selector. You can see it is styling both. So we have seen the selectors, element selector, ID selector, class. We, we have seen class for the particular element also. We have seen the universal selector which is selecting everything and group. You can group two or three tags together and style them. So these selectors are used to make things easier for you when you are developing big websites. Hope it is clear. Thank you so much.